Hi, everyone. Susan Gerbic here from Psychics Explained. I have a new medium for you. Um, I have friends that have been following this gentleman for quite some time. I've never done a video on him, but um, apparently he's uh, been causing a lot of trouble with the people who are trying to research him. His name is John Brenner. B-E-N-N-E-R. I will put a link in the description here so you guys can see his videos yourself. Very different style. Completely different style from the mediumship you guys have probably um, been around, which is somebody speaks fast, lots of cold reading, lots of letters and things thrown out. This is This is different. This guy does Facebook Live. And I will show you a few things about him that he says about himself just very briefly now i really want to focus and those of you who have read my most recent article from january 17th 2024 mediumship i still have a lot to learn i wrote this for skeptical inquire i'm going to put that in the description of this video also i am really interested and in understanding the dynamics between people who say that they see no harm in mediumship, which is most people, and people who are skeptics who say, ah, don't waste your time with them. They're all frauds. What a, what a, you know, they're people are just stupid and they're falling for it. And then people who are believers in mediumship, maybe not every psychic, but they do believe that some psychics are communicating with the dead. They have a completely different uh, experience. And those people who believe aren't necessarily, I mean, they're just the same demographic as everybody in the world. They're not dumb. They are, they have different experiences than we have. And they have different, they're raised differently than a skeptic probably, probably is where they believe in mediumship. Most of them are religious and they were conditioned to believe that, of course, somebody can talk to the dead. I mean, why why not? There are angels and there's demons and there's life after death. So anyway, in this article, I hope you will um, check it out. I'm really trying to understand and trying to explain to those people who are following this channel the dynamics of how this appears to somebody in grief. So this gentleman, this psychic medium, John Brenner, as I said, has a totally different style. Let me just, well, I, I guess I'm going to show you this. So let me set it up first. Um, it's a live feed. People can pay. It's a PayPal. You pay. He has a website. I'll put the link in the show notes also. Now it says on his website, or I should say his assistant, because there's an assistant that appears in the live stream and she constantly is putting out like a post, how much it costs. It's $8 for an energy reading. It's $11 for a regular reading. And it's $22 if you want to talk to somebody who's who's passed on, past readings. And it's she says in the little description, the more you donate, the more in depth he will get with the reading. So $22 on it. Okay, so it's not about the money. This guy could be just doing this for, for uh, you know, a living, or he could be doing it just a supplement, or maybe he really does believe, thinks he has the uh, ability, and he's highly discounting his reading so that more people will be able to participate, but he does want to charge something. I don't know. There's other people who are experts on this guy. I'm finding out about him like I said, really in depth. And I've got a few things to, to show. And I, I hope this won't be my only reading we do on John Brenner. Um, oh, I should mention he blocked me. I'm blocked from his account, which is really strange because I've never really had anything to do with him. But as people have said, um, he's afraid and he's blocked me preemptively because he's already heard of me because the people who are watching him and paying good attention to him apparently share a lot of the videos that you see here on my channel. And he's preemptively said he doesn't want me to, you know, he blocks me, which is fascinating. I can still watch your videos. 
because I don't have just one account. No. <laughs> and I have lots and lots of people who can take care of this for me and give me videos and stuff. So, I mean, you're not going to avoid me that way. All right. So let's look. This is a different style on the screen share. Why do we always say that? Why do we have to say that? I don't know why. I'm screen sharing now. I'm going to screen share everybody. Watch out. Like somebody needs a warning. We're going to distract you and scare you or something. All right. So this is John. Now, Brenner. And this is his Facebook Live page. And the reason why I'm sharing it this way is because I want to be able to have all the comments. And I'm going to turn it to real-time comments. I hope you guys all know about that little area on the screen that you have that you can change the comments. So sometimes you won't see all the comments or it won't make sense. Um, so the most relevant, newest, all comments in real time. That means that the comments are going to change depending on where we are in the video. And you can see here, here's some of the different prices and the website. And I'm not going to write all these people's names out or anything because they're, they're here. They've chosen to um, be public. Now, I'm going to warn you ahead of time that I won't take any, uh, the woman who's going to get read, her name is Kathleen. And uh, she's going to appear in the chat because that's the only way he shows it. Let's see if we can figure out how we can get Kathleen. I saw her. And maybe it's up here a little bit. Let's see how it changes. So as I do not want anybody touching Kathleen, looking her up, dealing with anything, because this woman is in extreme grief and you will see why in a few minutes. But people obviously in this channel are friends with each other. Well, not friends, but they're regular, regular um, attendees of his live events. And they are, you know, chatting with each other and they're having conversations about each other to each other, like as if they've, they've been here before. This has become a little club, a little collective on here. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to actually have it where his eyes are weird like that, but I'm trying to find something. I had it all queued up and then I had to change the comments. Okay, here it is. Here's Kathleen. She says, hi, John. My son died in his sleep yesterday. What reading do I need to try and contact him? He was very much into tarot and psychics. And then like the reading, it'll change here in a second. Hmm. When she types more. Here. Um, hi, sweetie. He passed a past loved one's readings are $22 and you need a photo. I'm a little sadness now. So you have to have a photo. Now this <clears> man <throat> speaks very softly. He's very slow with his, his, um, readings. It's very different from most people are, are used to. Here so we go. Passing was a um, Hey John. Oh, <laughs> it's just weird to see these other people jump into the call, uh, the conversation and no, not realizing that somebody's just posted that their son died in their sleep She's yesterday. I mean, it's very sad. Just to communicate with but he's not quite yourself. gotten to Kathleen yet. To he's got to see that she gave her paid her $22 or whatever it is. And um, like so no ad hominem attacks against this coming. John Brimmer. Um, he... You know, if mediumship was to work, if it it's really is a thing, then who are we right. to to know what um, what things we oh, have to do to to make it work or to be comfortable so in our space? Or, you know, if, if somebody has to eat green apples right before their readings, they do readings or something like that. We don't we don't really know. Um Okay, so this person says, yeah, so, so you know, your idiosyncrasies are, and um, the way you look, the way you uh, speak, the way you do things, 
loves yeah, you I, much, I'm different way. than other people and I'm sure other people are different. And if you're just showing somebody casually like I am in, right now, that should have nothing to do with what your um, abilities are, if you want to say that. Okay, so she says here, um, this is a different question. Yes, she died during surgery. So that's somebody else they're talking about. Okay, so Amanda, I guess this is um, the person who's taking the money. She says, you might need time to grieve because it was yesterday. And this is another conversation, so ignore that. So let's see. We can get to where Kathleen is. And she's really holding my hand. I can... Let's see. I'm going to pause this for a second, see if I can get to the right. I'm going to see if I can get to the right place on here. So you, uh, there'll be a little break. Okay, so there's a little jump there that was because I was trying to find exactly where to start. Um, it's a little confusing with, um, never mind. I'll make an excuse. You can just, just assume I've made a wonderful excuse why I didn't have that written down correctly. So he's going to start with Kathleen. Now, this is 15 minutes, and it is going to feel excruciating because he's very slow. And um, it's a totally different style. I'm going to let it play the whole 15 minutes. I am not interrupting this because I want you to get the feeling of what this is like. Put yourself in the place of Kathleen and the way this unfolds. I want you to understand the emotion of it. Her son has just died yesterday. And this is recorded on January 18th, 2024. So it was yesterday, her time. It's been a few days for us. It is, she's, she's shown him a picture, or I think she's going to say she's showing him a picture. And it is, um, he's, If I was to speed it up and just get to the good parts of what he says, then you're missing the whole point of this, how this appears to be real to this grieving woman. And then all the other people in here, you'll see other other posts. So what I'm going to do is as he's going, because the comments will come up in real time, I will just keep scrolling down. So look at the very right hand corner of the page. It's quiet in post post production. When I'm done, I'll try to raise the volume up a little bit so that you can hear him better but he's speaking very quietly and whatever he's doing. So, okay. It's like I said, it's, it's, it is kind of painful. I know that as I was listening to it, I felt like a knots in my stomach. It, it, it's one of these things that if you, if you have the strength to, to watch, um, I think you'll understand better what it's like. And that's what this channel is about is to understand. Okay. So here we go. I won't say enjoy. Thank you, Kathleen, for your donation. I'm getting you up on the list here. Okay, so uh, where is she here, Kathleen? Looking for Kathleen.
Ooh, he died in his sleep yesterday. You might want to give it a few days before getting a reading on that. Um, I also need a picture of your son too to to do this reading, because when this when the spirit when people die, they make their rounds. They the soul makes their rounds of family members and friends first for a few days. I may not be able to contact him just yet. Um, let's see here, and you gotta allow yourself some time to grieve first too. Um, but we can try if you'd like, but I do need a picture of him. Oh, he already, already has it. Okay. There he is. Okay. All right, we got the picture. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Here. And if we, take, if we can't contact him today, I'll put you on my IOU list and we'll try again at a later time, okay, whenever you can do it um, during another live stream. Let's see here. They always come in and look at the cups. They always come in and look at the cups first. It's odd. I feel like his soul is crying and he's calling out for you. Um, his energy feels very warm. You must have been very close to him or something because he's really calling out for you. He wants you to know that he's okay where he is. He's very okay. Uh, I feel, I'm going to try to confirm that this is really him. Let's see. Feeling like a stomach issue with him, like he had stomach issues, stomach problems. I see that he was a pretty motivated guy, very motivated and driven, but I feel he had a lot of stomach issues. He's right beside me. He wants you to know that he loves you very much, by the way. He loves you very much, he's okay. He's in peace. He just keeps. I'm feeling like some type of stomach issue. Um, how much you love him and you two were very close but he feels he feels sorry for passing I feel that this is why he's crying I'm not sure but a 
focus a little better here, sorry. I feel like he was the type of guy who had to look at things. He had, I see him moving around my room that I'm in and he's like picking things up and looking at them. Like he likes to observe or look at things. Um, he had a bit of a very big heart though. A very big heart in him. He seemed to care about a lot of people, a lot of different things. Um, very compassionate person. I don't know why this is good. I guess he was a TV watcher. He liked watching TV a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. But he feels really bad for you. Uh, well, he just passed away yesterday, so I'm sure you're grieving a lot right now. Um, but he feels really bad, really bad for you right now. It's like you're grieving for him and he's grieving for you. Um, is there any questions you want to ask him? Yes, it was intentional. He's telling me because there's nothing you could have done. He says that he's safe now. There's nothing you could have done, but he's safe now. And he's okay where he is. Is he suffering? He must have been in chronic pain or something. Be okay. I do believe he has. Mm. And 
you just feel him putting his head down over his brother. So he wants he wants you to tell his brother that he loves him very much. And to please under he says, please understand. Well, basically, please understand why he did what he did. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. It's, <laughs> I can't handle it anymore. So what do you think? Is that helping the grieving mother? I mean, it was yesterday. She should be planning his funeral. Yet here she is talking to a medium. people will say susan she feels better now he's she feels like he, she's being helped her son believed in tarot and and psychic so it's all good right well i don't know i i don't know if it's helping her or not i'm sure it helped her that day but if what he's telling her isn't true and she finds out later that it was not true at all that he didn't intentionally kill himself. How was that helpful to her? She'll just say, well, no, you're wrong because the psychic told me that he did intentionally kill himself. And I already talked to my son, John. I've already talked to him. He says he's good. He's happy. Everything's fine. His platitudes, they infantize us. They make these grieving, poor, grieving women into just like, okay, yeah, for $22, you can talk to your dead son and, and we'll, uh, you know, we'll make all that pain go away because he says he loves you and he's, he's sad that he made, he did this to you. I'm sure you know what I, I think of that. Okay. So how accurate was this guy? <laughs> Watching it and, you know, from my seat and from you guys who, probably know a lot about this by now if you've been following this channel and using common sense and we're removed from it we're not emotionally involved in this reading because this is not our child we didn't know what the situation was we don't know this woman please don't look her up and just watching him do his readings and what he's saying like he says let me confirm this is really him and then he's quiet for a while and then he's like yeah it's really him i mean really that's it? That's that's confirming it? How about giving us some information? Like, was his social security in these last four numbers? Here's a phone number of his childhood home. Here's the name of his first pet. This is what he used to call his imaginary friend. Something, right? Like, we know his first name because she gave it to him. She also told him he died in his sleep yesterday. So he already knew that. I, I, I don't here, here's some of the other things he says, and this is really kind of creepy. He knows that the son died yesterday. And here he says, yes, his energy feels very warm. That found that just, ooh. Um, he had stomach issues. I, feel, I'm, I think there were some stomach issues. So when we say stuff like that, what does that make you think we're going to? He has some stomach issues. Okay, so... That could mean anything. Maybe he was depressed. He was, he was, he was, um, he was actually sick or, you know, how you have butterflies in your stomach because you're really stressed about something that could be stomach issues. Another thing, and I don't know this from personal experience, but I've been told that people who use opioids, um, which is an epidemic here in America, they have stomach issues. Their, their body is, um, uh, they're constipated and, and they're, 
you know, it hurts and it's, but it's, it's in the stomach and the bowels area. And so since it's an epidemic and people who are young are dying years before they would normally die of a natural life, um, are, their lives are ending sooner because of fentanyl, opioids, and so on. And so to say somebody has stomach issues, well, that could be one of those kinds of things, or it could be a myriad of, of many other things. It's just something to say. But for a young person, you know, because we can see how old this mother is, she's probably 65. So her son would probably be in her 30, his 30s. So, or, you know, late 30s, maybe. I'm just guessing from a visual of what I saw. So um, anybody who's dying early like that and he died in his sleep, it, it, you know, um, he says that he, uh, her son says he's sorry for passing, but it was in, and she asked him and I, first time I watched this video, whenever she puts up there, I, he says, do you have any questions? She goes, was it intentional or an accident? I mean, I was just holding my breath for his answer. I thought, how is he going to get out of this? I mean, I, I hadn't, I hadn't yet seen that she had posted, he died in his sleep which she had posted earlier before she made the payment. When I started watching the video the last, the first time I came in right where she'd already made the payment and he starts to give her the reading. So I missed that in the sleep part. And I was thinking to myself, well, what if he killed himself like with a gun or, an, or whatever, and that wouldn't be dying in his sleep. So now I see that he had that knowledge already. Um, and, um, Oh, so he says, the son says to his mother that it was intentional. He meant to do it. And he's in a better place. He now feels safe. These other little things that he puts in there. Now, I don't know if he's doing this for an effect because it makes it feel like he's just really is listening to this recently died son walking around a room. And he says, yeah, he, he watched a lot of TV. He's a TV watcher. Um. He had to look at things. I see him picking up objects and looking at them in the room. That's very different from a lot of mediums. I've not seen a medium use those generic terms in that way. If John had given a lot of specifics that weren't hot reading necessarily, like, you know, somebody's phone number as a child or um, some of those really details from that probably would be difficult to pick up on you know, by reading mom's Facebook page or just general things that happen in life. Um, characteristics that we all know from cold reading, but if it was something a lot more specific and then he said, yeah, he's wandering around the room looking at objects and I feel him very close to me. That would be a really interesting uh, reading. That would, that would be pretty powerful feeling. But whenever you're just throwing out these things that are so apply to pretty much anybody um, stomach issues he watches tv he feels really bad for you he cares about people he's picking up objects wandering around a room you are grieving for him and he is grieving for you there was nothing you could do mom he's safe now and then when she mentioned his brother and she says his brother's really grieving he says yeah uh can you tell his brother that i love him very much please understand. And she says, yeah, he's depressed. He was depressed. I'm sure he's in a better place now or whatever. I mean, really mm, makes her feel better to know that. So I'm going to end that there because I want to hear your comments that you give me. Um, I don't think this will be our last video with John Brenner. I'm sure he'll be very upset when he finds out that um, my eye has shifted to him. Um, so, well, like I said, he's preemptively blocked me because he already knows of me. I mean, don't do that, people. <laughs> it's only going to make me much more interested in you. So comments, please um, leave me your, um, I will put, as I said, in the description underneath this video of the uh, links, as well as a link to my mediumship, I still have a lot to learn article that just came out a couple weeks ago. 
And I am very curious about your, your, your comments. Please like, please share. I know this is a painful thing to do, um, to watch, but I think it's important that we do watch these and to understand it from the viewpoint of the person who's grieving. Again, this is a social affair for these people. It's kind of creepy whenever somebody's having this very painful reading and, and the mother's commenting. Uh, she's probably, the reason why I was taking her so long to get the posts up when he was asking her question is probably because she's bawling her head off. Um, this somebody else puts up a little sunshine waving at people kind of thing. Hi, hey, I'm here. And it just really, really is odd. It shows you the how how flippant these kinds of uh, live readings are as if it's like, sure, of course, we're all here to get readings. Everybody get a reading and we're all going to feel better. And I don't know. Comments, please. I appreciate it. 